My name is Eric Normanson. I'm 18 years old. I live on Long Island, New York. I started realizing that I, I wasn't straight when I was in my freshman year, I'd say. Then around my junior year, I came out bisexual. And my senior year, I came out gay. My family was very accepting about me coming out. And I knew that they would be accepting. Um, the only thing that really surprised me was my mother said, well, that's your choice, when we try to stress that it's really not a choice. Eric, like many other, many other young people that come here, um, you know, come here and, and they're sort of in like a little shell. Um, and, and, and in a way, when they come to centers like this, it gives them probably for the first time in their lives, the chance to breathe, you know, to breathe freely and to just be. I'm David Kelmnick and I'm the founder and CEO of Long Island Gay and Lesbian Youth, also known as Legally. My name is Danny Garza. I'm a psychiatrist here in Manhattan. You know, gay teens realize their own sexuality at the same time that straight kids do. So it's the same process for kids as they go through puberty. The only issue is a gay kid is starting to realize that what they're going through is probably a little bit different than the person next to them. If a parent is really struggling with the news that their child might be gay, um, it's important for the parent to recognize that, number one, their child has just taken a big step in opening up in this way. And that kind of trust that the child has for the parent has to be acknowledged and respected and even, you know, maybe even express some gratitude that the child felt comfortable enough to say these sorts of things to the parent. My message to parents is that, um, is that you know, it's a coming out process for them as well. So you know, when, when a kid comes out or when they think one of their kids is, is gay, um, they start to wonder, who am I gonna tell? What does this mean? What is someone going to say to me? All those feelings, anger, frustration, depression about thinking that they were raising a straight kid or you know, a young woman that was going to get married with children and have a husband and all these things, they might experience some sense of loss and that's totally normal and understandable when your vision of your child is not what you anticipated it to be. The important thing is that despite that disappointment and despite that sense of loss, you still have the opportunity to protect, support and love your child with the reality of the situation, which might not be what you anticipated. So it's real important that, um, especially as a parent, that we not only accept our kids, but that we support and nurture them. Support and nurturance is a much more positive place to be at than acceptance and tolerance. A lot of kids do suffer from depression when they realize that they are uh, having gay feelings or homosexuality. homosexuality is something that they're coming to terms with. Um, certainly studies have shown that gay youth have three times the level of suicide attempts than straight kids do. When parents ask me that sort of thing, like do I talk, what do I say, how do I ask it, I have them go through a little inventory in their heads first as to how are these type of topics dealt with in the home generally. People learn intolerance as a child. And so if they learn that if I open this part of myself up to my family and I am shamed, or if I let people know about this in school and I get ridiculed or bullied, they're not gonna do it a second time. And so gradually they begin to learn that anything that's authentic must be secret and anything that's real is wrong about me. And so that becomes ingrained uh, psychologically in that, young in that young person and obviously causes problems in adulthood. I remember at one point I sat there and I said, I'm not telling anybody about this. I'm just gonna live my whole life without telling anybody and it just it got to me and I, I had to tell someone you know but no, nothing really much has changed um, in the household and I mean I think that they always knew I was gay but so they, they didn't really treat me any differently these days, a lot of particularly large high schools and colleges 
have gay, stu gay straight student alliances. Um, there are things on the books uh, as far as protecting gay students and transgender issues in schools. So um, there's really a lot of infrastructure in many large institutions already there. Parents have to know how to contact them, access them, and use them to their child's benefit. Eric has blossomed into such a wonderful, wonderful human being. Um, I mean, he was a wonderful human being before he came here. But in terms of where he's at now, in terms of his self-confidence, in terms of him looking towards his future, that he has a future, that he can grow up and be anything that he wants to be, is what this place is all about. If you don't live near such a center or can't really access that kind of relationship building, um, the internet is actually, despite what a lot of parents worry about, is a great resource for support and kids who might be in the middle of nowhere, know that they're gay, and feel like they are the only one in town because they might be the only one in town who's gay. And so the internet can be a portal to a lot of support, albeit virtual, but for that kid, very real and very reliable support.